All right, now that you have done page 741 through 743, I would like to check your work with you. So we have, um, the girl is saying that Zeke measures the snake and it sa he says it's about four inches long and Jay says it's about five inches long. Who measures the snake more precisely, measure and explain. So as I said before, so we know we're using inches. As I said before, you could kind of do what we did before where we were measuring the parts and adding them. But when it's wavy, it's a little bit harder than when it has some nice corners to go by. So I'm gonna use my ribbon, nah. Let's use that cord again. We're gonna use my headphone cord. My zero line is gonna be right where the little part that you plug in starts. So I'm gonna go all the way to the snake's tip of his tongue. And now I'm gonna line it up on my ruler. I'm gonna start at the zero line here. Oh my goodness, it looks like it is past five. So I'm gonna measure one more time so I can be precise and double check that I measured right, especially with this crazy wavy stuff. And here we go. Again, I'm gonna line it up with the zero line and it is past five. So it looks like Jay, who said it was about five inches long, is more precise. So it says length, we can write, it's about five inches, it's a little bit more, but that's okay. And we can say J was closer. So he was more precise. I wonder what made Jay more precise. I wonder if he also measured with a cord like we did or if he did something else that helped him to be precise. Um, it's also really important to be precise when we are precise that we put um, what unit we're measuring in. So here I put inches. I did use the abbreviation. You could use the abbreviation or the word. So on the back, the girl is talking about different ways that we can be more precise. This is a great um, reminder for you. So why? Was Bev not precise? I told you earlier that all of these, the answer was no. So Bev measures the cram. It says exactly five centimeters. Is her work precise? Explain. So why wasn't Bev precise? If you look here, she started at the edge of the ruler. She didn't start at the zero line. So we can say she was not precise because she didn't start at zero. Um, when you are working, try to make sure you're, you're spelling the word because correctly, because we are using that in spelling, we should be spelling it correctly. So Tracy measures the length of her pencil. She uses a centimeter ruler. Tracy writes 17 for the length. Is her answer precise? So I had a lot of friends when we did this in class that were they were looking at their ruler, they were looking at their pencil, they're measuring their pencil, and they're like, wow, yeah, 17, that seems pretty right for a pencil. So her measurement wasn't incorrect. The problem was that she just said 17, and she didn't tell us what she measured in. So I'm going to put, she needs to write units. Oh, maybe for me to be more precise in my writing, I could put, no, she needs to write units. So she should have 17 centimeters, okay? Steve is using centimeter cubes. He said the pencil is nine centimeters long. Is his work precise? Again, I had friends in class that would line up zero. Oh, and if we look at that, it really isn't precise, but it's not because he got the wrong answer. What did he do with the cubes? What is going on with those cubes? Because if those cubes are each a centimeter, which they are, he should be able to get an accurate measurement. So what did he do wrong? So. Let's see, we can put no, we know his work is not precise. He should have put the cubes right next to each other. Or maybe he could use a ruler instead. Touching, maybe I'll put touching each other. That sounds good. All right, so here you should have used a centimeter ruler to measure your pencil. What I'm looking for, I know I'm writing in pen, um, but this is so you can see it as you know. Um, when you, what I'm looking for, one, is that you start at the zero line, 
And then mine's closest to 15. When you wrote it, make sure that you wrote CM for centimeters. And then write two, you should have two ways that you were precise. So hopefully you could say that you started at the zero line. Maybe you measured twice. Maybe you, oh, you, you, hopefully you checked which units you were measuring in and hopefully you wrote the units. So I hope that you understand how to be precise when you're measuring. It's very important when we're precise because it helps whoever is reading our measurements or maybe if we're using our measurements for something important, it helps ensure that we're measuring correctly. Okay, have a great day.